very gusty winds following the cold front, and they have the potential to wreak some havoc. For more on that, we sent it out to Nate Larson, who's live at the mouth of Parley's. Nate, these winds could pack a punch for some. Yeah, Alana, and as you mentioned, primarily, I think, south and to the east of us for the Uinta Basin and Lower Washington County, but we do have that wind advisory for the Wasatch Front, primarily here near the mouth of the canyons where we're looking at some of the stronger wind speeds, and we know that with strong winds, we tend to have things like down uh, uh, power lines in some instances where we have really strong winds, otherwise down limbs, even some power outages can pop up across the state, and so we spoke with Rocky Mountain Power, who has to prepare for strong wind events like this to make sure that we can keep the heat on and keep the power on for their customers. The strongest winds across the Beehive State will happen tonight through Wednesday afternoon as a series of low pressure systems impact our region. Strong winds can damage property, lift loose debris into the air, and cause power outages. Unfortunately, we tend to see sometimes trampolines and things of that sort that can become very much airborne. And while maybe not so much we're worried about power lines, but just property and personal safety in general. There is a wind advisory for the northern Wasatch Front overnight through Wednesday morning, with wind gusts to 45 miles per hour expected. Winds will be more of a nuisance for the Wasatch Front, but could be more damaging for the eastern Uinta Basin and lower Washington counties, where gusts to 60 miles per hour are possible. Rocky Mountain Power has been assessing the overall risk to their infrastructure with our current wind forecast, which is based on a standard low, medium, and high impact scale. When we look at those, um, I guess, levels, we can decide, do we need to move some crews? Um, where we're looking at mainly low impact in relationship to the infrastructure around the territory, what we would do is just put off some of some planned maintenance and just make sure that we have those crews available should there be an outage. Jonna says winds in the Uinta Basin are more of a medium impact. When we're looking at kind of moderate or high impact, then we will actually move some crews around and have them on standby. So as Rocky Mountain Power prepares for our next wind event, Jonna says that you should too. Do kind of a hazard search of your property. See if there's things that need to be tied down, be anchored down. Yeah, any of that loose debris or unsecured objects could be blown around. That's the biggest concern for us. Uh, now, with the Easterly Canyon winds, uh, Jonah does say that it should be business as usual by tomorrow morning. Uh, we can handle wind gusts up to 45 miles an hour. But if you do come across in areas like the Una Basin or Lower Washington County, a down power line or a down power pole, he says to first call 911 and then reach out to Rocky Mountain Power. Live at the mouth of Parley's Canyon, Nate Larson, ABC4 News.